a piece of steel, you're making a bracket, you want to put it on your cylinder head, it's probably going to go, oh, I don't know, something like that. You got your ruler at, you measure in, you're going, eh, I don't know, four inches, two and a half. That's just way too much work. I'm going to show you how to do it without a ruler next on Idaho Fabricator. You know, to do this project, you're going to need a piece of cardboard, and uh, I borrowed this off the back of a notebook, but uh, you can get them off of pizza boxes or cereal boxes or even, um, I don't know, poster board. So, just want something kind of heavy duty, and then you're going to need a ball peen hammer, and I like the small ball peens for this because they fit better. So, anyway, here's what we do. We take our uh, cardboard template. And we place it on the motor, kind of where we where we think we're going to want it, okay? And then we take the round part of the ball peen hammer, and we roll it around in the hole, okay? Find the other hole there. I think it's right there, yep. And that one I think is right there. Okay, so if we pull this off, you can see we got, you know, four craters there, and four nice bumps there okay so let's head over to the bench and uh, we'll punch some holes in the cardboard and use my handy dandy Harbor Freight punch what's kind of cool about this punch is or any punch like this is it it just kind of fits over the bump so it helps kind of line it up for you so I'll give it a little love tap there and that one okay and that one's right there. And that one's right there. You know, and the reason that we're doing this in cardboard is it's just a lot easier to adjust and, you know, fit things out. And, um, and anyway, it just makes it easier. So, uh, so we're going to set this on here. And looky there, all the holes line up. Sweetness. So usually what I do at this point is I take a bolt and a couple of them and I go ahead and bolt this cardboard template to the motor and then uh, once it's held in place then I could use this as a way of measuring and figuring out the rest of the bracketry that I'm doing on the motor. So I'll show you what I'm making this for in a little bit but uh, once you get your holes and once you like your, your template and you've made your cuts with the scissors, you're going to transfer this to a piece of steel, okay? So I got a piece of scrap steel over here and uh, I'm not going to trim it. I'm just going to use it as a demonstration for you guys. So I'm happy with my template. I would transfer this all to steel, you know, trace it out with a Sharpie, cut it. But here's the, uh, the secret weapon here. Okay, I've got, you know, several different sizes here. Let me take the little ones out. That's another deal. Okay, go to your hardware store, get some one-inch bolts in whatever thread uh, your application is. In this case, it's a 10 millimeter by one and a half because the LS motors are metric. So get a one-inch bolt, cut the heads off, chuck it in your cordless drill, and spin it. And when you spin it against your grinder or your sander or whatever deal you have, it'll center the point. It, it works cool. It, it's really cool. So don't chuck it in there really hard. You don't have to. Just um, chuck it up, run your, motor, your, gr your drill, and just grind it off. It'll be perfectly centered, okay? So you grab your little special tools, the custom tools, and uh, your hammer and your piece of steel. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take these little pointed inserts, and we're gonna thread them in. Try and when you're doing it, just try and keep them all the same depth. Okay, and thread these in. And if you're working on an older motor, 
you might have to run a thread chaser in the threads so that uh, you know these thread in real nice and easy so thread that one in there and hopefully they all thread in nice and easy so far so good and the final one right in the corner where it's hard to get to thread that guy in and it looks pretty good all right so take our piece of steel all right normally it would all be trimmed and whatnot and we set it on there okay where it's gonna go and then we just go around and tap all the corners where all those threaded pieces are okay and what's really cool about this is those point the little pointed deals they make dimples in the metal and they keep the metal from moving so it, it kind of makes it stay in alignment as you go around tapping the holes so and look at there there we got nice holes one two three four all right so we got our four holes so at this point you'd go over to your your workbench get your get a little bit bigger um, center punch and whack those pretty good so that you can head over to your drill press and punch your holes and guess what it's gonna fit perfectly I know it's cool all right so I wanted to the reason that I did all this and you know put these threaded inserts in and the, the project that I was building for this was a uh, an engine support okay so my dilemma was I wanted something that I could support the motor with. I didn't want to use a cherry picker because, as you know, they're swinging and they lose hydraulic pressure and you go away for a day and you come back and your motor's sitting on the ground. So um, I came up with this idea here. I'm going to call it the Idaho Fabricator Motor Support Bracket. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. And uh, I, I was thinking that if a guy wanted to, you could drill these holes for different cylinder head, um, like Ford, Chrysler, GM. And then you'd have a bracket that works with a bunch of different applications. But the way this works is the bracket would fit on here. Hey, look, it fits those holes perfectly. Wow. And then you bolt it on. And then this piece of all thread here, you would adjust this nut and it would hold the motor where you wanted it held. And I made another exact copy of this for the other side. And the beauty is, is that uh, these bolt hole patterns are the same. So once you make one side, you can just flip it over and it becomes the other side. So it becomes a mirror image of the other side. So this thing allowed me to move the motor back and forth, front and back, and then I could you know, just real accurately adjust the uh, the angle of the motor so I could get the right drive shaft angle. So this bracket worked really good. You know what, you could make this bracket, it'd be really cool. And I know that it would be useful for you when you're building your motor, putting it in your chassis. So, hey, it's been fun. This is Idaho Fabricator. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I got more exciting videos coming, so stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.